The latest package includes more, the, more ammo for American-made long-range rocket systems. A senior Pentagon official says the Ukrainians have had what he calls a good deal of success with the satellite-guided rockets. They're the most advanced weapons the United States has sent to Ukraine so far. And for the first time, the U.S. is also sending advanced surface-to-air missile systems that can reportedly strike targets more than 100 miles away. Meantime, Russia continues its brutal and indiscriminate onslaught against civilian targets. Ukrainian officials say Russian airstrikes on a residential area near the coastal city of Odessa killed at least 21 people, including two children. The Ukrainians believe it was payback after they forced Russian troops to retreat and withdraw from Snake Island, a strategic and symbolic island in the Black Sea. President Biden is back home in the United States after a highly consequential NATO summit in Madrid, Spain. The world's most powerful military alliance is set to grow even stronger with Sweden and Finland now formally invited to join. NATO leaders showed a united front against Russia and vowed to stand by Ukraine as the bl uh, brutal and bloody invasion drags on. CNBC's senior White House correspondent Kayla Tausche with more on how the war on NATO's doorstep has reinvigorated the alliance and given it a renewed purpose. From a crisis of confidence to a crisis on their doorstep, NATO countries and two new members now forcefully aligned against a common foe. Russia poses the most significant and direct threat to our security. New weapons are flooding into Europe, hundreds of thousands more boots on the ground, all to fortify NATO's eastern flank, the front lines against Russia, which long feared both Putin's aims and the West's resolve. They thought it could happen again, that we would say, oh, never mind, we're going to leave. But our allies are now in very solid commitment uh, that we're not going to say, oh, never mind. We are going to see this through. President Trump had reportedly discussed withdrawing from NATO many times, calling it obsolete and slamming other countries' spending levels, causing leaders like Francis Macron to declare NATO was suffering brain death without the U.S. As the largest spender and leader of the free world, the U.S. is the cornerstone of NATO. President Biden this week said leaders praised his quieter diplomacy in getting results. Thank you for America's leadership. You've changed the dynamic of NATO and the G7. The urgency came from Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky speaking virtually from his decimated country that Vladimir Putin has bigger trophies to seek, testing the core tenet of NATO to come to any member's defense. After what Putin has done, we are girding for uh, the need for an Article 5 commitment. I think that's what this summit has done. For the news, I'm Kayla Tausche, Madrid, Spain.